Well, as we've been mentioning, South Korea today unveiled an economic stimulus package worth at least $11 billion. The government is expecting that this will add at least one percentage point to the country's GDP growth in 2009, pushing it to 4%. Korea is also going to sharply increase its bond sales to bankroll its foreign exchange market interventions. Daniel So is a regional economist at Forecast and joins us now with some analysis on this. Daniel, do you think this is going to be enough? They're going to put in $11 billion to try and pump prime the economy. Is that going to help it out? Certainly. South Korea determination to shop sentiment to prime prime the economy is a strong positive. Definitely and definitely and we are expecting much lower interest rate coupled with ramp up fiscal spending, a highly competitive exchange rate. Certainly we were going to see some repricing in the FX market. Uh, Daniel Lisrossi, we, we expect another half point cut from uh, Korean Central Bank this week. How, how low do you think rates could go? I know capital economics are saying we could go down to one and a half percent. I would see uh, maybe a hundred basis point cut in for the rest of 2008, and the uh, rates may hit to 2.25 percent. 1.5 percent is possible if we see a nasty fall in China investment appetite, which is currently a rising risk. Daniel, it's Brian Shackman in the U.S. You briefly touched on the FX market. The, the yuan is down about 34 percent, I think, against the U.S. dollar this year to date. What's your sense of, of whether this currency issue can be stabilized? I will believe that there is a still scoop for further upside in the yuan because the fall is clearly excessive if you look at the relative movement across uh, Asian currency. So if exporter is going to more exporter sales and unwiring of speculative previous speculative bet, we may see the want, the dollar want, uh, fall below 1,180. Okay, and Daniel, of course, all of this is trying to shore up the economy. Getting, getting the currency market stabilized is going to be a key factor to that. Yes. How much of that stabilization will come from the fact that Korea, which is currently posting a current account deficit, will actually see a current account surplus uh, sometime soon. That should be a positive force, right? Certainly. That's why I'm saying that the fall in the one is overly excessive. Current account trade balance is going to improve significantly. Oil prices have fallen and there will be a cyclical narrowing of the service account deficit. So when, when the whole economic downturn takes place, so we're going to see a huge significant improvement in the current account. And South Korea corporates certainly look more robust than those of U.S. So if you look at the U.S. dollar against the won, the fall is clearly excessive. Okay. Daniel, as always, a pleasure. Thanks for joining us today. Thank you. Daniel So, regional economist at Forecast, joining us here.